Hey everybody, it's Miss Beck, and today we're going to talk about one of my very favorite things, and that is telling time. So to tell time, we need to use a measurement tool. You know which measurement tool we need to use? If you set a clock, then you're right. And so this is a clock. This is my demonstration clock, and this is called a Judy clock. Now, this clock is not a whole lot like clocks that you usually see anymore because this kind of clock is called an analog clock. Can you say analog clock? But guess what? It's really important to learn how to tell time on an analog clock because usually when you're in school or in buildings, you see analog clocks. Now, there's another type of clock called a digital clock, and that's the one that we're used to seeing. Um, it's on your phone. It's um, on alarm clocks. It's pretty much everywhere, digital clocks. So digital clocks are pretty easy to tell the time, so we're going to talk about those um, just briefly, and then we'll talk about the an analog clock. So this in your packet is called the digital clock. The digital clock has the number, then it has the colon, and then it has two numbers after that. So the first number is the hours, and the second number is the minutes. So this one's pretty easy to tell that this one is 8.30. And guys, you can see these type of clocks all around, and these are on phones and tablets usually. So the digital clock is very easy because it tells you the time, and you just say 8.30. Now, the kind of clock we're going to learn that's difficult is called the analog clock. So I'm going to show you first your sheet, and then I'm going to show you on my demonstration clock. So this is the analog clock, and the analog clock has two hands. It has a short hand and a long hand, okay? The short hand tells the hour and the long hand tells the minute. Now for our purposes, our long hand is going to be facing the number 12. When we see it face the number 12, we're gonna say o'clock. Can everybody say o'clock? O'clock. So right now our time is five, o'clock. We don't say 512, we say 5 o'clock. So let me show you now on my Judy clock and look at my time on my digital, 1222. So remember we have a short hand and a long hand. So the short hand moves and the long hand moves. All right, when our long hand gets on 12, that's like 60 minutes, and we say o'clock. Now, as this long hand moves, it will tell us different other times. Now, we're not going to really focus on these other times, but I'll show you how it moves. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. All right, can you say the numbers with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. But what's really interesting about this long hand is it counts by fives. So when you say a time, instead of saying one on the long hand, kind of do it like this, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and that's a minute. Don't do it with me, ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and that's a minute. One more time. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and that's a minute. Now, do you guys remember Ms. Beck said when it's on the 12, that means o'clock. So the shorthand is going to tell the hour. So look right here, 
What time do you think it is? 10 o'clock. Now look, I'm not gonna move the, the long hand, I'm only gonna move the short hand. What time is it now? Short hand faces the seven, seven o'clock. Let's try another one. What time is it now? Nine o'clock. Job. So now we're going to go and make our times. I'm going to show you the super coolest one. The super coolest one is this one. This is when the shorthand and the longhand are both on the 12. When that happens, it's 12 o'clock. And I'll say that 12 o'clock. Then, here goes an hour. One o'clock. Here goes another hour. What time is it? Two o'clock. What time is it? Three o'clock. What time is it? Four o'clock. What time is it? Five o'clock. What time is it? Six o'clock. Now I love this time too because look, our short hand is on the six and our long hand is on the 12. It looks like a straight line. All right. What time is it? Seven o'clock. And look, my gears make it move. Eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and then we're back to 12 o'clock. And all day long, our clock moves. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in your pocket and you're going to locate this clock right here. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to cut out the circle and then you have two hands, a short hand and a long hand, okay? And you can take a brad or a little clip here and clip your um, hands there. And then I want you to practice telling the times only to the hour. So the long hand needs to be facing that 12. And then you can practice doing the shorthand facing the different other numbers. I'll give you some numbers to practice at the end of the video. And thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.